Coming up next, please raise the roof for Louis Foles. Hello. Um, just before we start, I do have to have a. I've got a little request. Um, can everyone stop trying to sell me their iPhones, please? Because despite what it looks like, I'm not actually the assistant manager of CEX. <laughs> I'm the team leader, and I'm going to have to have authorization first. Uh, that is what I'm going to talk to you about today. I'm going to talk about um, video games. Um, now, I, so we've got some fans, but I know that not everyone is a fan of video games, but that's okay. I'm going to, I'm going to teach you some terms uh, and some phrases, some all on board. Does that sound good? Yeah. Excellent. Okay, let's start with a fun one. Um, ooh, the N64. Now, the N64 uh, is a really fun uh, night bus. <laughs> um, a, uh, a boss fight. A boss fight is something that you get at the end of a uh, career. A D-pad is a men's sanitary towel. <laughs> and Super Smash Brothers is incest. <laughs> uh, I think there is an idea though that a lot of video game players, there's like a, a toxic culture, there's like bigotry and racism, homophobia. I'm not going to pretend that doesn't exist. Like, I'm 37 now, so when I lose at FIFA to someone who goes by the name of <coughs> the Savage Cumrat. <laughs> sorry, oh, sorry, I got that wrong. The Savage Cumrat 69, yeah. who then proceeds to tell me in graphic detail what they've done to my mother. It does make me think it's probably time to stop playing these games with Dad. <laughs> Not everyone's like that though. Not everyone's like the Cumrat. There are some. Uh, there are some good guys out there. In fact, I keep a list of all the people that have like left an impression on me. Um, I don't do that. That's crazy. Uh, but I do keep a list of all the gamer tags, all the people that I've seen online. Um, and I just basically want to ask you guys if you think that they sound like a problematic bunch. I need to stress that these are all real people that I've found. <clears throat> Malcolm Xbox. <laughs> Princess Die Hard. I love this one. Edgar Allan Poe. Adolf Hipster. <laughs> he doesn't play Minecraft, he plays Minecamp. <laughs> Maddie McCant. <laughs> and my favourite, Stage 4 Cancer. Oh, oh sorry, my mistake. Stage 4 Cancer 007. <laughs> That's a genuine real one that I found. I do like to think that Stage 4 Cancer 007 will one day get a diagnosis of his own, and his first words are, Doctor, no. <laughs> Sorry, Bond. Turns out, you only live once. Um, my favourite game, my favourite game of all time, is a game called Street Fighter 2. Any fans? Yeah. yeah, great game. Really important game to me. Because, um, for those that don't know, uh, Street Fighter 2 is a, it's a, it's a fighting game. Uh, with, a, with a diverse cast of martial artists, which was great for me because I always had like a dream to like beat up minorities. <laughs> <laughs> Gamers are toxic. <laughs> Obviously, that's not true. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, I, I can't really talk about video games without talking about the Dom that is uh, Super Mario. All fans of Super Mario, right? I love Mario. Uh, I actually went to see the Super Mario Brothers movie. Uh, I went to the Secret Cinema version. Do you know Secret Cinema? They make it all immersive, make it look like you're really part of the experience. Uh, so excited. We got there, uh, they dressed us up in overalls. Um, uh, then they sat us down and made us study for an NVQ in plumbing. Um, I sort of lost faith in the night entirely when they lined us up in a row and made us take turns to kick a turtle in the face. <laughs> Kids were crying everywhere. Well, I think kids were crying. They did take us make. Ooh! They did make us take a lot of mushrooms. Fuck yeah, now I really butchered that. <laughs> oh, 
Christ. Um, I don't think I've got enough time for the next bit, so I'll, I'll end it there. Thank you so much, guys. Cheers. <laughs>